Hello, welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews and another reading vlog. I believe we are on reading vlog 38. Welcome, it's lovely to see you. I am back with a morning check-in, which I've not done for a couple of months probably. Uh, it is first thing on Monday morning. I'm going running at lunchtime. There's no time to vlog then. The evening is for sleeping. I'm going running at lunchtime, so that that's just how this is working out. And also I've got quite a bit to update you on. So, end of the last vlog, I was some of the way through Chosen? Yes, because I was sewing. Yes, that's what happened. Sewing project, very successful. Can't show you right now. Too early in the morning, but very successful. Um, I finished Chosen and therefore have finished my reread of books one and two in the Slayer series so far. While I like a lot of elements of this series, like it's, it's Buffy, it's a fun world. I don't love the plot and I'm not obsessed with the main character and that's kind of a disadvantage when you're in things where the main character is quite important let's go hang out with her lesbian twin a bit more maybe that would be that would be what I would want I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhaul Chosen because I liked it less and I'm gonna hang on to Slayer because actually Slayer I did enjoy rereading I thought it was good fun and the plot for this book is quite good I think that's what I'm gonna do. Right. Right. I had a list of all the things that I read so that I wouldn't forget. So then it was Saturday night and Insomnia was back. I mean, she never left. Uh, it's been, it's been fun. I picked up, middle of the night I picked up, what was it called? The Mistwick School of Music Craft, which is a middle grade book. It's sort of similar in length and or vibe to What's it, The School for Good and Evil, that one? Look, for a book I picked up on a whim at 3am, it was pretty fine. Um, it features this main character, and I can't even remember her name, that's how much it has gone into my head. But uh, she wants to enrol in this school for music, except music is magic, so she basically, she wants to go to like, a combination of fancy music school and Hogwarts is sort of the vibe, like it's school uniforms despite being America, it's that that kind of thing. She auditions and her audition goes terribly wrong but she still gets an acceptance letter and she's like what's happening this is very odd and she gets there and <laughs> it's it's like a reasonably good setup for a book in that it's she gets there and they go oh no you're not actually meant to be here because there was another girl Amelia Jones that's her name there was another girl called Amelia Jones who was meant to be here but she died and now <laughs> you're here because the acceptance letter just got sent to you because apparently magic is not that foolproof I guess and she's like yes I will prove myself that I deserve to be here because of events uh which is a pretty good conceit for a book but all I could think was like did they not have a waiting list who gets to join whose place has been denied because the person who hasn't earned their place here yet gets to be there I don't know it was again when you read something at 3am those are the thoughts you have you can't appreciate the happy little middle grade for the happy little middle grade it is but you know, it was fun. She plays the flute. I played the flute when I was younger. It's nice. I would have probably really loved it when I was about 10 or 11. And really, that's what it's meant to be for. So there we go. And then on Sunday, I picked up Sweet Black Waves. I read this cover to cover, which I wasn't expecting. I thought I was going to end up DNFing it. So that's in some ways very positive. This is the sequel to Sweet Black Waves. It's a Tristan and Isolt retelling, uh, but featuring the main character is Branwen, her cousin, ladies maid, it's in various iterations and I don't enjoy it. It's sad, I think it's just really slow and a lot of this would entirely be solved if you just talk to each other, which is my least favourite kind of conflict. So, saying farewell to this, uh, oh no, I've put my notebook down on top of my get rid of stack. I did a little bit more listening to Golden Fool, that's what I've done, uh, and not much more has happened to be perfectly honest. Uh, I have my library books. Let's, I'm just going to shift you, that'll be easier. So, Angel Mage. By the time you're watching this my TBR will be up so I'm not going to go into these in a huge amount of detail, you can just go and watch that. I have Angel Mage, Revolution, Space Opera, Sisters of Sword and Song and Life as a Unicorn. I'm going to start with Angel Mage because then I can finish my last tense TBR and uh, that, that's how my brain works and then we will move on and probably just work through the stack either from top to bottom or bottom to top because that's how my brain works as well. Right, that's a long segment for first thing in a vlog in very very orange lighting but you know what can you do? I'll see you in a bit. Hello, hello. 
it is uh, unboxing time. So as ever, excuse the terrible audio. Uh, this isn't bookish at all. Uh, I just wanted to open it on camera. This is my fabric. This is my fabric for my duster project. I'm working on. It's like it's you will not be able to see it on camera. It's just going to look black on camera. But it's like black with the tiniest hint of blue in it. I think the colour is called anthracite or something like that. Uh, but this needs to go through the wash and then it will be ready to use. Quick reading update. Uh, I didn't read a lot yesterday because I was working on my booktube secret Santa because I'm being a little bit extra with it. I can't show you because they'll watch this video but uh, I'm working on that and that has been good. Uh, I am now, as of reading over lunchtime, I think just over 300 pages through Angel Mage and while I don't dislike it, I don't dislike it and I never did, I am enjoying it more than I enjoyed it the first time I read it, but I am not wild about it, even yet. Even still. Even now. I think the magic system is really cool, there's like a whole thing about having an icon of an angel and you summon that angel, but angels have a really, basically the lower powered, angel, the lower powered angels have a really specific purview, so like one of them can light in the, make a light in the darkness but only on very specific times of the month, and I, I like that as an idea, but the actual plot is kind of eh. Uh, and the rest of the world building is a bit meh. Um, I'm going to try and get some footage of our Christmas tree, which I will insert after this clip, uh, because we're hoping to put that up tonight, and that's about all I needed to update you on. I will let you know when I finish Angel Mage. Decorate your Christmas David. It's the pain in his eyes that really makes Christmas. Ahoy! Happy Thursday! Oh, I left my tea over there again. That's annoying. Well... It's the way it is. Uh, I am looking glamorous and gorgeous. No, I've just been ironing fabric, so I look warm and practical. Um, I have a few bits to catch you up on since we last spoke. Uh, David is up, as you will have seen. Hopefully, maybe that footage made it in. Who knows? Uh, I have finished Angel Mage. I finished my reread of Angel Mage. I liked it more the second time around, but not enough that I'm like, I must hang on to this forever and really enjoy it. I think the difficulty is that the really important bits, like when you bring these four stranger characters together, which happens in this book, kind of is a blink and you'll miss it moment. And the ending is also kind of a blink and you'll miss it moment. And I think that it's one of those things where the, I try not to spoil it for you, the ending uses one character where it's set up for as being important. I don't know. It just, the narrative structure isn't great but the magic is very cool the world is interesting I like the whole angel thing it works pretty well uh which my original statement being it was too angel-y is now probably not as valid but yeah I just don't think the story is great so thank you left-handed booksellers of London is better uh, if you want more adult fantasy from Garth Nix uh, and then I also finished Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross and I was checking because I thought I'd read Queen's Rising I think I have what this book actually remind me of is oh It'll come back to me. It's one of those YA books that there are quite a lot of books similar to it. I think it's Grace and Fury. We have like one sister set up for success and the other one goes to prison. It's it's that one, but except kind of ancient Greece adjacent. Uh, I say adjacent because it is not in any way historically accurate. Don't go in expecting that. Uh, I think other than the mention of hoplites, everything else is kind of like, well, it's vaguely ancient Greek. That'll do. Um, but it is a fun story. It's a fast-paced YA kind of adventure-y sort of thing. The magic is there, but not particularly fascinating. Uh, there's romance. There's sisterhood bond, which is nice. I was expecting them to be separate for the whole thing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a standalone, I believe. Maybe? Yes. So if you're looking for standalone YA fantasy, which you don't find that often, to be fair, this would be an option. I don't know if I'd be like, this is a must read, but uh, if you are really into YA, it's one of the better YAs of that kind. Uh, and I am, I fell all the way over there, so I'm not gonna grab it, but I am about 100 pages through Space Opera, which I am enjoying the plot of, but the plot that I have read in 100 pages could be condensed into about four, because it is the most dense, wordy, I am so intelligent, I am getting so many things in, I want to be Douglas Adams, I want to be Terry Pratchett, that kind of tone, which I don't think is for everyone, and I think it would probably work better in audiobook, 
because reading it is just a little bit relentless. There are sentences that are whole paragraphs and I just cannot do that easily. Uh, so it is taking much longer to read than I wanted to. Uh, but I, I'm interested in this idea of if what is effectively an uh, intergalactic Eurovision Song Contest, which is a hook and a half. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish that today if I can, because I am trying not to work on the sewing project, because I know the moment I start it, I won't stop till it's done. And I would like to save that for next week when I have a couple of days off. We shall see. Um, and possibly the beginning of Christmas week when I would normally be going up to my parents, but we're in lockdown until like the 23rd. So yeah, I have that and then two more library books to go and then things are good. I have not listened to any more audiobook, despite having been doing things that really could have been audiobook on. I'm not sure what's stopping me listening to Golden Fool at the moment. Need to work that out. Uh, my Secret Santa present is almost done. I'm waiting for one more delivery on that and then I have to brave the post office which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. I think it's going to be a long day of queuing on a Saturday, or maybe on indeed on one of those days off. That's about all, really. Fantastic. I shall speak to you when I finish Space Opera. Trying not to work on the sewing project, because I know the moment I start it, I won't stop till it's done. Yes, I started the sewing project. Um, no regrets. Hi. <laughs> yes, no. Uh, yesterday evening... After having immediately come off the blog and been like, oh, I'm not going to do, not going to do too much on that sewing project because I'm going to save it. And I, it will mean I don't do any reading. And then I cut out all the pattern pieces and started. Uh, and I, I now, as I predicted, I want to keep going with it. Um, but I do have good news. I finished Space Opera. Oh, it's densely worded. And the story is okay. I think it's one of those things where if you really like the style of writing, the really dense thinks it's very funny kind of writing it might be interesting to you but I wouldn't be like yes everyone has to read this it's the most hilarious book I've ever read I think if you love that kind of slightly surreal tone it might be for you but it wasn't wasn't my vibe uh, I wanted to start revolution but I haven't because I've been working and uh, went for a run just when my hair is still damp uh, so I have that and I still have life as a unicorn to go I did finish Animals 13 though, which is the other reason I haven't started Revolution. So that's done. Um, and I will talk about that one in a video in the near future, so you don't need to hear me talk about that now. Uh, so yeah, it's been pretty good, pretty good couple of days. And now I just want to keep going with the sewing project, so I'm not going to vlog for very long. Goodbye. Hi, I'm just coming on for a quick one. It is Saturday morning. I think it's still morning. Probably. Uh, I am sewing. As you might be, no, that's the wrong way. I can't do angles. Uh, but I am saying things are not going the way I want them to and I'm getting frustrated. Uh, also, on top of that, today we got up and we had lights, but no other power. Something, our washing machine tripped the fuses. But that was an exciting hour of being freezing cold because our heating wasn't on and trying to work out what was wrong. Ah, no, I am currently in sleeve hell, which if you sew, you'll know. Um, and I haven't done any more reading and I don't intend to. So I think I'm just going to come close out the vlog here. Thank you so much for joining me this week. It's been a pretty decent reading week. Obviously, I have two books that I wanted to read that I haven't. But I threw in Animals 13 at the last minute. So that's good. And I am on the sleeve portion of a sewing project, which is pretty good going, to be honest, for my own workload. Uh, I'm meant to be filming today. I don't know if I'm going to get to it. I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood after trying to bind off these sleeves. <sighs> thank you so much for watching comment below with what you've been up to this week what you've been reading i would love to know you can also while you're down there follow me on all of my social media you can subscribe it makes me feel loved and appreciated that's all from me and i will see you in the next one it's done a piece of bloopers now i think what i'm gonna do <laughs> just uh, uh,